Hello and welcome to Blogs Master. This is the video for Sabina, our Blogs Forum member, and she's asking for some help with how to install the Vault CMS on subdomain. And I assume you already got the subdomain on SiteGround. I don't have the SiteGround account, but I will show you how to do that using the well Hostinger, but it's it's quite similar. So you already have subdomain, but for the purpose of maybe this will be helpful to somebody else, I will create a subdomain. Let's say I want to test Vault CMS setup before using it on my main website. So what I will do, I will create a subdomain test and I can create it for a custom folder or just have the test folder inside the public HTML. So actually I will just name it something more complex, test vault, for example. But yeah, that will do. So let's click create. Now we have this subdomain created for us. So if we go to this website, you can see that I have this default page hostinger created for me. I assume you will have something similar on your hosting account. Now, what I will work this is the file. I think this is the file you are trying to upload to your server. So I will duplicate it so I don't mess the files here. And inside here, what I will do, I will first of all change the URL for this web address to test vault blocks templates.com. This is exactly what we had on our um, subdomain. The second thing you need to do, and actually I teach all of that in the course. You don't need to do that right away. You can just follow all of the steps I have in the, in the course. But what you can do to speed up, you can just click on the Vault Core brick in the footer, you can see, and just create your own ID. So let's, let's make it Sabina. And for the password, well, you can go to any B hash password generators. Once again, I provide all of the links under the lessons in my course. Let's say that you're, you want to create password Sabina. We will do that. We will copy this hash code, go back to our blocks application and paste it here. And that's actually it. That's all you need to do inside the project. Now let's export this. Let's change the name. Why not? Vault test. Let's export this. And I will export it on the desktop. Now I will open my FTP program. I think you also have transmit. I will go to my blocks templates main domain. I think for you it is your website, obviously and I have created it so inside my public HTML, as you remember, it was asking me if I want to have it, well, I already tested this, so we can see there is another another one for you, but this is the one we just created. You can see test vault folder on my main domain here. Now, if I go inside, obviously there is just one file, the default file we saw, so I will de delete that and these are the files I exported from blocks right now. So I will drag them into the my domain test vault, public HTML test vault. And after a couple of seconds, okay, after a couple of seconds, we can go back to our, what was it, uh, test vault to this URL. And as you can see, now we have our website here already. And obviously we don't have blog yet. So if you follow all of the steps in my course, step by step, do not rush, you will learn what we have added the login page. And inside this login page, so this is not elder, we have created Sabina and the password was Sabina as well. After we log in, you can see it says logged in as Sabina. And now if we refresh the folder, you 
can see that it created the CMS folder for us. Vault CMS automatically created this folder for us. So now we can go to any page where we have the Vault CMS. For example, you can see even on the main page we have these edit buttons. We can add the new post. New post for sister Sabina. We can ch change the URL and you can learn all of that in my course. So just description. Well, I I'm not very good typing when I need to type something anyway. And by the way, it is 3 a.m. here, so please understand my rumbling and typing, mistyping. So I will upload something just to show you how it's done. So summary content goes here. And for main content, main content goes here. Okay, so we have our post, we can save, we can save and close right away. And voila, you can see that we have our website live. This is our first post. And after you're done editing, you can, well, you can edit more posts, of course, or you can just click on this exit button. And as you can see, now we have our live website. It's also added this in the recent post area in the footer. It also added this in the recent post in the sidebar for you. And you can, well, this one is not working yet. I didn't set it up completely. But after you've done that, you will be able to, if you follow all of the steps I show in the videos, you will be able to create this fully functional blog using World CMS. So your question was on how to install it. Hopefully this video answers that. Thank you for watching. And if you have any, any other questions, do not hesitate to contact me or post your questions on blogs forum and I'm sure blog support team will help you. Have a nice day and I'm going to bed now. Bye.